So it is Sunday, November 13th, and we just got back from doing groceries, and we stopped at the dollar store to get some stuff for Christmas decorations. So we're putting um, wrapping paper in frames, and then I have a little Bath and Body Works candle, Orchid, and St. Nick, and little houses. But yeah, Mark is working on the other one. We're putting of little minions in a frame for Lincoln for more kitty cuteness on our house I guess. Yeah, Mark's putting that in the frame. And Lincoln is having a dodo with some water sound in his vibrating chair. And this little guy's watching the baby. Yeah, I'll show you what other Christmas stuff we put up. I'm just going to put away the groceries now. Mark's doing a little craft. We got these wooden snowflakes at the dollar store. And we're going to paint them white on top of our decorating paper. Right, Mark? That's the plan. So if you're looking for a cheap idea, you can try this. We don't know what it's going to turn out, <laughs> but here we go. I will show you the finished product. Turned out, we're going to wait for it to dry, and then we're going to put it into a frame. And now we're taking Dude. these triangle, what would you call these? Cardboard cutouts from the baby shower. And we're going to cover them in wrapping paper and maybe write Christmas on it or just leave them as wrapping paper. I don't know. But another cheap DIY idea. One down, ten to go. Nine to go. Yeah, nine. <laughs> ten total. We've decided that we want to write Merry Christmas instead of just Christmas. So we're taking a piece of scrap cardboard and we're going to make our own. Yeah, I couldn't get that lucky. Are we decorating? Are we decorating for Christmas? Hey baby? Are we decorating for Christmas? What is that face? <laughs> what is that face? Oh dear. There's a smile. Yes. So cutie. Oh yes, I know. I know. Are you Superman? Are you Superman? <laughs> He's getting some chunky on his leg. It's pretty cute. We're gonna hang up our little stockings. Receiving blankets everywhere. <laughs> we hung up the stockings. Living room's nice and cozy. We finished wrapping the banner cardboard in our wrapping paper. And I believe we are going to um, get a stencil and then write the Merry Christmas on it and maybe put some silver glitter. So. We're just getting all the cheap crafts done tonight, I guess. But I'm going to make some dinner now. I think I'm going to have some pasta. I'll show you what I'm For dinner, I'm having gluten-free pasta. I'm going to add some spinach and some mushrooms. Saute it in some coconut oil. And this is my dressing. It's a tomato basil. And then I'm going to add some of this dairy-free mozzarella cheese. Oh yeah, the mushrooms are sauteing. Got the noodles there. And for Mark, I am making him chicken. So this will be good for four days with some rice. And I just seasoned it with some Montreal chicken spice. So yeah, I'm pretty hungry and I'm excited to eat. So I'm just going to finish cooking and enjoy my meal. framing our 
the little snowflake craft. There was some like bleeding on the paper from the paint, but I think it looks pretty cute. What do you think? If you're gonna do it, the paper wrapping paper is too weak to accommodate the paint. So if you used a heavier paper and printed something, you'd have better results. There it is. A snowflake. Cute. When can we put up our tree? December 24th. I was thinking next weekend. <laughs> At least wait till December. No. I want to do it next weekend. It's alive. It will be needleless by then. Well, I grew up with a fake tree. Have you always had real ones? There's only real trees. Well, I had a fake Christmas tree. You had a pile of plastic. Anyways, maybe we'll get a fake tree. Peanuts just swinging away. He should be getting hungry soon, so. I'm just doing some laundry. Sitting down for a second. Mark's on his phone. I've been crafting all evening. <laughs> You're pretty chatty. <clears throat> hey, you talking? Hey, what's up? I made a stamp out of a tater. Yeah, he cut up a potato into Christmas tree shapes and now we're gonna put this in a frame. Well, not that part, but so cute. I was going to end the vlog earlier, but I guess we're continuing with the craft, so just here with the little choopy. And I think we're going to hang some snowflakes and yeah, Mark's in his undies putting diapers in the garbage. Our glamorous life. Does it look funny? Three different levels. Is it? Like complete, yeah, staggered, like yeah, it. yeah, more random. Should we put up the one on the door? Can if you want. Hey. Christmas corner and a Christmas tree. Those are harder than. Does it look funny? It looks alright. I have my retainer in. <laughs> Lincoln is in his crib in his room for the first time tonight. And it's right across the hall and I'm already nervous. Let's see how it goes. Have the monitor set up. <laughs> they grow up so quick. <laughs> Good morning. It is Monday, November 14th. An update on Lincoln sleeping in his crib. He slept from 10.30 to 6 with not a peep, so that's awesome. And then he woke up, had a feed, and then fell asleep on Mark. So yeah, I'm just getting ready for the day. And we shall see what this day brings. So I'm having these overnight oats for breakfast. Um, what's in here is one cup of oats, half a cup of almond milk, half a cup of water, um, one teaspoon of cacao powder. It has some caffeine in it, so it gives you a little boost of energy, which is always nice. And I put half a cup of 
mixed berries. So there's blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries in here. So you mix it all up in a mason jar, pop it in the fridge, and it's ready for you in the morning. So I think this is going to be my go-to breakfast this week, and I'm pretty excited because it's so good. I think you should try it. I'm starting to journal a little bit. I know, it's kind of random. But yeah, I've just been writing um, what I'm grateful for in the morning. Um, it kind of helps with a more positive mindset. I find since I've had Lincoln, my hormones are a little out of whack and I find it easy to get really down on myself and I don't know. I used to be so go with the flow and not a lot used to bug me and now I feel like I just get super emotional really fast and I have a hard time seeing the good in certain things and I'm starting to drive myself nuts so I'm starting to journal and write what I'm grateful for and then at the end of the day I'm going to start writing how I could have made today better or the day better so yeah I'm going to keep trying that out hopefully it helps with these mommy hormones because I miss the old Brittany, the old, you know, I didn't really get bothered by much, so we'll see if this helps. I will keep you updated on that. So yeah, I'm just going to keep writing. So we are out for a walk. It's a beautiful day. It's around 2.40 p.m. And earlier we tried to leave the house at four different times to go for a walk in the stroller, but didn't work out, but we're out now, so that's all that matters. But yeah, earlier I fed him and changed his diaper, got him dressed, he wasn't a fan of getting dressed, and I tried to put him in the stroller four times, each time having to take him out and calm him down, but yeah, so I let him have a nap, I think he was overtired. And he could sense that I was frustrated, so that's never good. So he got a nap in, he just ate again, and now here we are. So I'm feeling pretty happy. I guess it's supposed to be really nice this week, my mom said. She's coming out Friday, so it's going to be a good week. I guess people have raked up our leaves, so I think we should maybe think about doing ours. I guess with having a baby, the leaves just aren't a priority this year. So we went for about a 30 minute walk. Hi, Peanut. Oh. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna get him out of this carrier and we're gonna try and get some housework done. So he's resting. I'm really glad we went on that walk. Um, I was just having one of those days where I felt kind of like stir crazy in the house. So when I wasn't able to get him in the stroller the first couple times, I was a little discouraged, but I didn't give up and we got out and I feel great now. So sometimes all you need is a little bit of fresh air. So yeah, we're going to tidy up the house when Mark gets home. Um, I think we are having his aunt and cousin over tomorrow. They're down from England, so I'm gonna tidy up the house a bit. I think that's a pooping face. <laughs> 